Tarek Farhadi. He is a former economic advisor to the IMF, the World Bank, and the UN. Thank you for joining us on the program. You know, as, as countries emerge from these lockdowns, do you see a shift occurring in demand? As we are seeing a decline in manufacturing activity in China right now, but what countries could come out in good position for growth after this? Well, we already see in Europe uh, uh, that uh, politicians are under pressure and governments to uh, make sure that the food security and the medical equipment security is ensured uh, by uh, sources and providers that are at proximity. So uh, the first things that we uh, read here in Europe is that uh, there, there, there is a tendency for deglobalization and uh, relocalization, meaning that uh, bringing back uh, the manufacturing of uh, these items at home. But soon it will, it will appear that it's difficult because uh, the labor costs are still very high compared to China and India and Europe. And there has to be um, middle solutions uh, uh, that, that that needs to be found in the in the neighborhood of Europe, uh, such as uh, Eastern Europe and Turkey. So, what puts Turkey uh, in a good position to come out stronger as a manufacturing hub in Europe? So, Turkey is already a very um, strong exporter of apparel, foodstuff. Uh, textiles, metal, and uh, transport equipment. So it also has uh, inroads already in European markets. So it has inroads in Eastern European markets, and it has inroads in, in European markets with these products that we just mentioned. So now what, what will happen to Turkey is, first of all, tourism will be down for uh, this season, which was uh, a big event for Turkey from a fiscal stand standpoint. But on the other hand, the price of oil will be down as well. Uh, the import bill will be will be down for Turkey, so that might compensate to a certain point. Although uh, a low prof price of oil doesn't create employment, but uh, tourism being down, it does put pressure on employment. So, but the uh, small and medium-sized enterprises of Turkey could now tweak and have a strategy to export medical uh, supplies, such as masks. Now we know that for the next two years, we need uh, billions of masks in, in, in the world, and especially in Europe, which is a proximity market where Turkey has inroads, and also the PPEs and all the equipment that we saw uh, that was missing uh, during this pandemic uh, in an emergency situation. Mm -hmm. Do you think markets like India and China will continue to struggle, or do you think the recovery will be pretty quick? And do you think it's a situation where they have an advantage because of the population and demographics in the region? They have an advantage uh, because of the demographics and the fact that these are um, two thirds of uh, one third of the, the world's population or more. Uh, more than one third actually is in India, China, and Asia. So this is a huge market. However, what happens is that um, um, countries that are poorer might have a social breakdown because uh, a lot of poor people who are also consumers uh, are, are going to uh, come out of this much worse. Uh, I mean, coronavirus hits everybody equally, but uh, but uh, the cure is not, is not the same and the confinement and... Uh, um, isolation possibilities are not the same for everyone in every geography. So the, the, the pain will be larger socially, uh, lost jobs, companies that go out of business because the same protections that are offered in Europe for businesses are not available, for instance, in, in India or China. Mm -hmm. So the states that have taken care of the companies during this uh, situation where companies could start again soon, retool and uh, take their products uh, to their clients, including utilizing digital technology and now marrying more digital technology with physical delivery of the products will do better. And Europe seems to be okay on that. All right, we'll leave it there. Tarek Farhadi joining us from Geneva. Thank you so much.